You know, there's a lot of way to rig electronics, and a lot of guys have issues with you know interference, and they also have issues with power. And this year, I'm going to be running Dakota lithium batteries, which are obviously lithium, and I'm going to be running a 100 amp battery just for my electronics. In the past, we really didn't have enough reserve time for me to have a separate battery like that um, that was totally isolated. So we're going to show you how we're going to put this in here with a battery switch and with the distribution panel. It's going to be totally isolated from everything else because that battery has enough capacity. We don't need to tie that into anything. And that's going to be really clean power. We're going to have no interference from our trolling motor batteries or cranking battery, anything else on the boat, you know, radios, VHF, things like that that all you know, cause a disturbance. So there's a couple little ways that we're going to do that with a battery switch and a distribution panel. And this is how I'm rigging my boat in 2021. So when rigging marine electronics, you want to use heavy gauge wire. Usually I'm going to start with 12 gauge. In most cases, I'm using 10 gauge, but really it's going to depend on how far of a distance you're going to travel. The good part is you can look up ampage drop charts online and put in the actual gauge wire you're going to use, how many amps your unit is going to pull, and you can see how much that is going to drop and that'll help you determine your wire gauge size, but do not go small. 12 gauge minimum. In most cases I'm using 10, if not a hair bit larger. And I'm gonna use a marine duplex wire like this. Everything's kind of in case that's tinned copper. You know, after we've got the wire connected, we're gonna either have to connect this to the distribution panel, which we'll talk about in a little bit, or the manufacturer's power cord, either one. And so we're simply gonna use a pair of wire strippers on there. Make sure you use the correct size. And then I like heat shrink connectors. We're gonna use a little heat shrink connector here with the appropriate size ring for both the battery and their distribution panel, whichever it may be. And then make sure that you use a pair of pliers if you are using heat shrink that are made for heat shrink connectors. There is a difference and it'll actually, if you don't use them, they'll split the connection and then you've got bare wire. So make sure that you put some electrical tape over there if not. But a good heat shrink will make sure that no moisture gets in there when combined with the tin copper wire. So powering the accessories, and in this case, just my electronics, because that's all we're gonna put on here. We're gonna use a little distribution panel. This one's a Blue C, it's a really good brand. This is gonna be our negatives up here. Here's gonna be our positives that we're actually gonna put the individual fuse in. We can label these with a cover. So you can put up to six things on there, which is kind of nice. But what we have to do first is we're gonna to have to make a little jumper that we're going to take to our battery switch. So we're gonna make a positive and negative short lead they're gonna reach from our battery and to our distribution panel and to the battery switch itself. So I chose to use a battery switch here that has you know one and two and off. Um, you can just use a simple battery shutoff switch is all you really need, but this gives me more options for the future. And it's actually a little nicer, a little heavier duty. But in order to do this, we're gonna need different size leads for everything. So I've chose eight gauge wire, which is maybe a little bigger than you need, but heavier wire is always a good thing in a boat. But each end of the connection is gonna require a different fitting. So make sure you look through that because of the distribution panel with this one happens to be a um, size I think it's 10 or something like that on one end. The battery switch is 3 8 and then the battery terminal is 5 16 in my case. But make sure you look through all that before you start making these wires. But we're gonna make some short leads. They're gonna go to the distribution panel, to the battery switch, and then also to the battery itself. So you can certainly do the old crimping style, but I'm using some heavier uninsulated connectors to make these jumpers. And a little hydraulic crimper like this is a really nice tool make those connections super easy compared to the old way of doing it. So anytime you need to make any battery connections like that, that hydraulic crimper is the way to go. You're gonna to wanna to put your distribution panel as close to the battery as possible. You don't wanna put that up towards the console. So we're gonna put this in the back with a battery switch and a distribution panel. And we're gonna wire those up with positive and negative leads, we're going to take a positive lead from the battery and we're gonna to go to the common on the battery switch. So now that we've made all our little leads and jumpers and I've pulled the wires that came through the boat, which is this here is going from our, our electronics at the console, we're just gonna make all those connections to the distribution panel. And we've also got them hooked up to the battery switch. So basically I just kind of dry fit everything together to make sure everything was working properly before we mounted these in place. Now on the battery switch, everyone's gonna be a little bit different, a little bit different lingo, but the common is going to go directly to the battery. That's our separate lead. And then on the battery switch itself, whether it's one or two, or if it's just simply a shutoff switch, the battery is going to go to your distribution panel. 
And that way, when you turn this off, the electronics will go off or anything that's hooked to the distribution panel. That's gonna keep you from having things draw power. Even when things are off, they'll draw power to a certain extent or have any issues for either you're charging or long-term you're away from your rig.